one of these birds, are you drawn to the most? If you're drawn to this bird, this is your reading. If you're drawn to this bird, the reading will be posted next. So go to my page. The dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Okay, so Taurus connects to the energy of Venus. And Venus is all about our life's pleasures. Okay, so I feel like there are certain dreams and goals that you have that you are looking to attain. So these could be financial goals, these could be relationship goals. So if you've been searching for the perfect person or the perfect job or working really hard towards what you want to achieve in your life, it's okay to also take a step back. Rest is just as important as work. Now, of course, you need to have that discipline and consistency in your practical plans in order to attain your dreams. But it's about finding the perfect balance between the two. So when you have your downtime, make sure you are really doing things for you. Because I get the sense with you that you're always there for other people. You're always there to be a shoulder to cry on or to support others. But you really need to take care of yourself and your own needs at this time so that you don't burn out. Okay, because also, say this is about relationships. If you're always searching, if you're always constantly dating or on the apps or constantly seeking to find somebody, you put yourself in a lower vibration when it doesn't happen. So sometimes you need a bit of a reset. The same with your work, okay? Or if you're trying to look for work or trying to save money for something, it's okay to sometimes spend money on something else in the interim. As long as you are putting in the effort consistently to achieve your goals, it's fine to take a break. It's fine to treat yourself from time to time. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let the past define you. Okay, because this can be a new chapter for you. It's okay to look back. It's okay to acknowledge what happened to you or the mistakes you made because that will help you in order to change your now and change your future. But don't dwell in them. Don't sit there and beat yourself up or feel too badly about it because what's past has passed. You can't go back and change the past. You can only change the present moment and in turn your future. So it's time now to release the past and it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Okay, so only when you can let go, once you've had this rest, I feel like this is going to restore you and will give you that drive, that energy, that motivation to take action towards your dreams. Because Aries is creation. It's all about initiating new change in your life. And you can only initiate the new once you release the old. You don't need to force yourself either, okay? It may take you a little bit longer, okay, to process everything. Maybe you need to journal. Maybe you need to seek out some healing in other ways, get some Reiki or whatever you feel will help you to process the past. But once you have, you then will feel restored, ready to take action. It's like as simplistic as it is, if you don't get a good night's sleep, it'll be really hard to get going and feel motivated the next day. So by having a good night's sleep, you will feel energized. Okay, so by taking a little bit of a break from whatever it is you are trying to get to in your future, will restore that energy so you can feel motivated, so you can feel driven to reaching those practical goals that you have. So we've got more fire coming through here. Now this can represent tension, okay? So you may be feeling a bit of tension. I feel like you might need a massage. Definitely picking up a lot of this internal tension and it may be manifesting for you physically. So again, that can be a way in which you rest and focus on self-care. But I'm getting a competitive energy here as well. So you may feel like you are having to compete. Okay, whether it's for a job or whether it's for a relationship, okay, or maybe there's been conflicts in your relationships or within your work, okay, and you feel like you are having to work incredibly hard and to fight for what you want. And I do feel like you are meant to fight for what you want. You are not meant to give up, but you also need to, again, find that balance and look after yourself. So you can be in the best possible health physically, mentally, and emotionally to achieve what you desire. And of cups. Okay, so this is connected to family. So it may be this is where some of the conflicts lie. 
Okay, but it might be as well that this is what you're seeking to feel fulfilled in. Okay, so whether this looks like you being married and having children, whether this looks like getting along with the family you were born into, okay, or maybe even this is like your dreams coming true in terms of your career, buying a home, going on a beautiful holiday, being able to provide for your family or enjoy the fruits of your labor with your loved ones. This is letting you know that this is all possible. This beautiful rainbow here, okay, it's there, it's on the horizon. This is something that you will receive in the future. This is your card of reassurance. Yes, you're going to have to fight for it. And I don't feel like it's too far away in the distance either. I feel like it's a lot closer than you realize. But I feel like you are being guided to embrace the now because the future is in the future. You're not there yet, but you will be. The more you can find peace and gratitude in your now, the easier and quicker I feel like this happy family emotional fulfillment feeling within you will come. So have faith in yourself and never give up.